To write the net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid, we'll follow these steps here. The first step is to write the balanced molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. To do that, we would have two here and then two here. Next, we'll write the state of each of the substances. Calcium hydroxide, probably gonna be aqueous, dissolved in water. HCl is aqueous, dissolved in water. Our calcium chloride would be aqueous and the water, that's a liquid. So now we can split the soluble substances into their ions, and that'll help us write the complete ionic equation. So we have calcium, group two on the periodic table, has a two plus charge. The hydroxide, OH, that's a polyatomic ion, it has a one minus charge. Hydrogen, group one, plus one, and then chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, it has a one minus charge. And then we have our two plus, our minus, and the water, that's a liquid, we'll ignore that. So now we can write the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this, Ca2+, plus, and I won't write aqueous after each of these right now, plus that hydroxide, plus we have the H+, plus and the chloride ion. On the product side here, we have calcium, that's 2 plus, plus the chloride ion, Cl-, minus, and then we have our liquid water. We also need to take into account these subscripts here and these coefficients. So I have the one calcium, but this two applies to the hydroxide in parentheses. So I have two hydroxide ions. The two here applies to everything. So I have two of these H plus ions, the hydrogen ions, and then two chloride ions. On the product side, I have the calcium, and then again, two chloride ions, and then two in front of the water. That's the coefficient there. Now I can cancel out things that appear on both sides of the equation. These are called spectator ions. Once we do that, we'll have the net ionic equation. So I have Ca2 plus, that's on both sides of the equation. And then Cl minus, that shows up on both sides. So now I can rewrite this as the net ionic equation. That looked like this. We do need to do one last thing though. Since we have a two in front of everything, we can just get rid of those, essentially reducing it down to a one to one to one ratio. So this is probably the better way to write the net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus HCl. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for the neutralization reaction of calcium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.